eBay beginners, okay? For uh, people have that haven't, you know, really been exposed to the serious side or the business side of eBay, all right? So this is eBay for beginners here. So if you're a newbie to eBay or, you know, whatever you want to call it, you know, welcome. And this is going to be the complete uh, beginner's guide to teach you everything you need to know. This is the complete beginner's guide of how to sell on eBay in 2019. Please what, baby? What they need to do? Follow, Follow subscribe, subscribe, and share. And share. Why not? <laughs> All right. So we want you to watch. Remember one. So part two of three, you watch first, then part three of three, you watch second. And then this one, which is how to sell on eBay 2019, the complete beginner's guide. Part one of three, you watch last. Meaning why and my explanation for that is simply that this one only goes over your eBay account setup and how to list that's it it just goes over how to list an ebay account setup and those are simple things you know those are things that if you have a job right now what most of us have and you know how to fill out an application then you know how to do this point so i wanted to make sure that we got the the real important stuff the knowledge the seo the prop proper practices for pictures and you know just all that good stuff out first versus this. All right. So we're going to get right into it. Remember, I told you guys uh, to set it up and, and how to sell on eBay to complete beginners, beginners guide part two or three. At the end, I gave you guys a dope bonus. I'm not going to give it away here because if you can't even look at a whole video, you don't deserve to get it. But trust me, I paid $485 for it and I gave it to you guys for free because that's what we do here at Beauty and the Barber. We really try to help our subscribers. We want to see our subscribers opening up channels and having success like we are having on the small YouTuber level. And we hope to grow and we hope to help other people grow. All right. So like I said, also in that uh, in that part of this trio, I also talked about the eBay app and how that app actually saves you a lot of money. Now, there is a difference from uploading on the app and on uh, straight through the website. So if you're on a desktop, most desk, most computers these days have app stores. You'll still be able to get the app. If not, you will have to do something a little bit different. So uh, just let me know also in the comments below if you do use desktop or if majority use desktop to the point whereas i can redo uh i do a whole separate video on how to list and all that good stuff on uh desktop or if you set it up on desktop but trust me this is the best this is the best way all right. So basically what we're going to do we, with no further ado, we're going to jump right into the video again. Before we get started, I'm just remind you guys again to go and hit that subscribe button. You wouldn't know how much that really helps. Hit the notification. Definitely like and leave a comment if you have something to say. Good, bad or rare. All right. And we definitely uh, follow. We definitely comment to every single uh, person that leaves a comment back. OK, so you will hear from us. Now, let's get back into it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, Play Store. As you can see, I already have it downloaded. But we're going to go to the Play Store. And you want to type in eBay. Okay? I already have it in, so I'll wait for you guys to catch up. Uh-oh. Maybe we need that, right? All right. So as you see, I already have it up. So you guys at this point, it will be downloading and all that good stuff. We're just going to hit open uh, for the sake of saving time. But all right. Now that's going a little bit too further. Let me go back. Now, when you open it, it's going to come to this screen right here, just like as if you went to their regular URL on, uh, you know, if you went to pulled up their Web page or whatever. What you want to do is hit the three lines, which is the menu, 
okay? I made a fake account because I did this video already, but my sound was messed up. So I'm going to go back through it again, all right? <laughs> so let's sign out of this account right here. While I'm signing out, remember, you can be subscribing. All right. This is how to sell on eBay for beginners. So if you're getting some good uh, quality content and you feel like this helped you out, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, giving, giving, giving just do. So let me sign out. All right. So now what you want to do is go back to the menu, which is three lines. You want to go to sign in. All right. Now, at this point, you want to go to use email or username. You can sign in with your Google, which is fast. You can sign in with your Facebook. I choose not to do none of those. That's some personal things. Uh, you can email me outside of here if you want to talk about that type of stuff. You know, it's off topics of, you know, barbering, doing nails and the beauty industry and, uh, reselling and retail arbitrage which is what our 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 channel is for right so i don't want to get off top subject but you can definitely email me and i we can have a little have a little uh discussion about that so you want to sign in user use use the actual create an uh, account all the way at the bottom okay you click that and then you want to, like I said, uh, use your email or username. Or if you're the type of person and got everything synced, you can just click on one of the ones. But for uh, tutoring sake or for teaching sake, we're going to actually go through the whole steps. Now, if you wanted to create an eBay business account, this is where you would do it first. Pay attention. Don't create a regular account and then figure out you want to create an eBay a business account later. It will be harder to switch it back over. So I will say, think about it. If you have, if you, you know, source enough product and you're selling enough product where you think it'd be worth the fees and all that type of stuff, go for it. Um, I would, I would tell you to start off with a, a, a regular account, get the rules, get their, uh, you know, the eBay seller agreement and then and the policies and get your feet wet with how to sell and write listings and how the uh, SEO works and all that type of stuff. Then you could think about a store and all that type of stuff. So we go on just the regular one. So hit use email, put in your email here. All right. Your first name, uh, you know, somebody that gets all of us, right? Good old, good old. Um. And then again, if you wanted to create a business account, you would hit the bottom for create business. All right. But at this point, we're new. So we're going to put continue. Now, of course, it's going to say I already had this email because um, I made I made the uh, demo account earlier for the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my marketing uh, company's account. Because I know I didn't create a eBay with this. And I'm going to simply just delete these two. These, these accounts I'm making is solely for you guys. All right, so they should. Now you make a password here. All right, now I'm going to let you guys know. One, don't give nobody your password because you feel like it's just simple now and you don't make no money, but what if you do become what you want to be? Now people not only have access to your eBay store, but your PayPal account, which links up to your eBay account or you can link it up to your eBay account. And I would recommend it just because it makes shipping, printing shipping labels, uh, getting paid and paying out your eBay fees that much simpler. All right. So we're going to go ahead and make this. All right. Read the user agreement, read the user, uh, privacy notice, always know what you're getting into. 
Now, you're at the regular screen. You hit the menu again, which is the three lines. You should see your, uh, you know, your new username that you just created. All right. So now uh, eBay account set up and all that good stuff is done. From here, you already know. If you got a Facebook, you see the empty uh, little person in the circle up there. I'm going to be pointing to it right there. You see that? That's where your picture goes. Your name is right up underneath. Here's your information. Now, let's get into how to list. Again, if you have any questions on eBay account setup, I kept it pretty broad because to me, it's, you know, it's nothing but just sign, signing up for uh, anything like you would do a normal thing online. But if you have any questions or would like me to go into detail with anything or something I may not have covered, just make sure that you uh, comment below and let me know exactly what it is. And I would definitely make sure I get that uh, info to you. So what you want to do now that we have it up and running, you will put in your uh, your information. You got to put in, you know, your phone number, stuff like that. Make it. Remember, this is a business. You want people to see it as such your name. Make sure it's a name that people can relate to. Don't make it nothing all crazy that when people see it, they won't trust to buy. And another thing before we even get into listing your eBay uh, feedback. Your feedback matters. I'm actually going to go into mine and show you, but your feedback matters. Okay. You ask, absolutely have to do right by feedback. When you say you're going to send stuff out, send it out. When you, you know, uh, if you're handling time as a day, make sure it doesn't take longer than a day because people look at that and they, i.e. one, don't leave feedback if you, you know, did anything wrong or they will and it'll either be uh, negative because, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, sometimes people leave feedback that's negative or neutral or whatever the case may be, and they have no merit. And then, you know, it's a whole nother story. We'll talk about that a whole nother time. But that happens too. But just make sure you do right by people. Just go the extra mile, and I guarantee you, you'll sell. People ask, how can I sell on eBay? I'm selling slow. I need to sell more. Great feedback. And some feedback. Let's be honest. Would you buy from a seller that had one feedback when in the list above him and under him was somebody with 100 and somebody with 2000? It just wouldn't happen. Right. So understand to get start getting multiple sales. You got to put in that work. How you get feedback is by selling. How you sell is by having a lot of stuff on your store. You ever seen these stores with thousands of things? They're giving themselves thousands of times to sell. Thousands, is, you know, that, that's just how it is. Multiples. So the more stuff you put up, the more chance you're going to have to sell. The more you sell, the more feedback you're going to get. The more feedback you get, the more you move up the eBay chain. Now let's move on to how to list. The three menus. Again, at this point, if you're loving the content, you just learned how to, uh, you know, uh, all about the eBay account setup. And now you're about to go into how to list your item on eBay. OK. And if you feel that this is, you know, content that you're able to receive and dissect, please hit that like and that subscribe button. All right. And I really appreciate that. What you want to do now, I'm going to show you a shortcut to listing. You see where it says selling under bids and offer. Click that. Now, this is only in the app. Now, when you click this, this is why I like the app. This is why the app gets good. Because you see, you just hit right a bit above it. It says list. And then you describe your item. What it means is say the keyword describing what it is or whatever. So we're going to put in uh, Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo. World of Splatoon. All right. Now, you always stick with the category. They normally, the top one is the one normally that you need to go with. Now, in a rare occasion, you need to choose something else. But for the most part, that's what it is. Now, you just look and find what you're selling. 
So what we're selling is number two, number three, number four, number five. Number six. Okay. And you guys want to know a secret? I don't know if you remember, but if you go back and look at that how to sell on eBay, the complete beginner's guide, part two or three, and you seen that one was over uh, photos and SEO. If you look, you'll see something familiar here. Beauty and the Barber's pick is the picture that one of the pictures that eBay is choosing to show new people that sign up. OK, and that's just due to us selling recently for one and two following all their best practices and, and things of that nature in the listing. OK, and three great SEO work. All right. And of course, we sold it already. So if you look at this one right here, that's in the middle where you got two of them. You guys was a part of that. You guys witnessed me taking those pictures. So I, I'm going to say thank you for helping me sell these two items. And I hope you can help me sell many more. But you would just let's pick on Beauty and the Barber's item. We picked that. Now, we're going to use this as an example. The th great thing about the eBay app is once you click on that, it copies everything from that one photo the first photo to the the all the uh description the specs all the stuff that you need now there is a case where you would need to go in and change some of that stuff too as well but for the most part they have it all plugged in then it asks us for the condition please 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 if it's new all right say it's new but if it's used do not say it's new this is one of those things that's going to keep you from getting good feedback. That's going to keep you from selling. If you can't sell on eBay, then you can't become a power seller. You can't really, you can't make $50,000 a month if you can't even sell, right? So be honest, all right? And on the, on the desktop, it actually goes in more depth. So here it says new use. On the desktop, you can even go and say, all right, uh, new but open new but you know what i mean that type of stuff so but for now you just hit new then it's going to pull up all the rest of the instant information well because we just made this account you can't list nothing without your information so it's asking me i'm gonna say i got a landline 336 225 or, mm -hmm. just making up some stuff since it's a demo account uh and you got to give the address I'm sorry about this, guys. All right. Let's just use theirs. I mean. All right. All right, cool. Now what's going to allow us to continue to make the rest of the listing? Now, the first thing you're going to be able to make is the photo. All right. Now, please, the first person... Uh, comment and tell me why we're not going to say anything about the photo this time. I know y'all try to see me saying it. So I'm going to let one of my strong Beauty and the Barber gang members tell why we're not going to say anything about the photo uh, in in about 18, 18 minutes and 20 seconds uh, in this video at that point. <laughs> But uh, so now you go out. All right. Sorry to get off subject, guys, but you want to get off. We're going to skip the photo for now. You go to the title. Like I said, in uh, the complete beginner's guide, how to sell on eBay 2019 part two of three. We talked about SEO work and I'm going to just give you a little snippet from there. If you want to know more, you need to go back to part two and watch uh, like the last 10 minutes, cause that's going to actually give you, you know, the bonuses that you need. Uh, but you want to make long story short, everything needs to ma match up. Everything needs to be optimized. Okay. So, you know, you want your picture that you saved in your phone or your camera to be the same as the name of this title. So if it was window, um, world of Nin Nintendo Splatoon splatter shot, which it was, when I come over here, I need to have those keywords in my title, which I do, right? World of Nintendo, Splatoon, Splattershot, all right? And then, of course, you add a little bit because you don't want it to be exact, exact all the time, all right? So then you go down in the next category. And as you see, you can also see why I recommended the app, right? It's fail-proof. It actually takes you in order, all right? So then you go to the category. I told you that was already done from the uh, great listing that you uh, downloaded. Shout out to Beauty and the Barber. All right. 
the item details already done from the listing that we downloaded. Now we can go in and if we see something that's not true, sometimes people just put in stuff, but your boy did this one, you know? So uh, I'm, 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 I'm straight real. I don't do none of that. I don't do no shortcuts. I go straight with it. All right. Now we go to the description. Now what I tell you, it all need to match, right? So what you want to do is, boom, you go up here and now this need to say the same thing world of nintendo all right splatoon right so now you got your picture saying it now you got your title of the post saying it all right or your listing and now you got the title in the description saying it and what do you know what you think you put within the first three sentences of your description exactly right the same thing Anytime you have to put in anything to whereas you have to search something, it's called search engine optimization is what you use to be found in the search. That's true to anything on the Internet. Google, YouTube, eBay, Amazon, any algorithm where you need to type in and be found. OK, it's no different than eBay. All right. So that's why you want all this to lined up the tight the title name within you want that in this the name within the first three sentences of the description you want it in the the uh the uh the header of the description the title and the name of the photo all right that's how you optimize and of course sprinkle some in the description that's how you optimize your ebay and once you do that and follow all the ebay's uh practices to the best of your ability with no flaws and take and then once you take immaculate pictures with the white background like you was taught in part two or uh, two or three of how to sell on ebay you won't have no issues with selling so let's come out of description and come down to pricing i love the apps pricing setup because it tells you not only you know whether you are in a uh, auction or whether it's buy now, because sometimes on the online you can get it mixed up and and start a listing in buy now when you really was trying to do a auction and the other way around. Here it has it clear, all right. But the main thing I like about it actually is the fact that as you see, you see it says average sale price. They're telling you the average sale price to what people normally put it on and this is with auction watch how i switch it now is the buy now and you see it kind of went up a little bit but what i love about it is you can actually click where it says current trending price it tells you what's currently trending and then it shows you about three to five uh uh examples of things that sold within this 90 days so let's check it out i'm gonna click on it and what do you know? <laughs> this SEO thing that uh, <laughs> Dub the Barber telling you guys about ain't half bad. What do you know? Who's at the top? Who's at the top? Beauty and the Barber. Sold items last 90 days. And I, this, is, this is eBay's app working it up. So I'm glad that we're viewing this because this kind of shows you guys that yeah, it doesn't matter if you a store of 50,000 or if you a store that only has a rate in under 100 right around that um, like us. If you know the work and you do it, you're going to sell and you're going to do nothing but grow. OK, when you know what you're doing, it doesn't matter who, who you up against. All you need to know is have patience and keep chipping at it and you you you'll be there. Trust. But yeah, so we're going to use ours again, but it shows all five of these, all four of these sold. And they're showing you the amount that it sold for. So you do your research. You say, okay, boom. The highest one sold for 32. The lowest one sold for 29. I want to be in the middle. So you come back out. And you can even keep it at 29. Uh, 70. You can make it 30. 01. You know what I mean? And what I noticed is too. When you first put in it. Like if I hit this. Before it would be nothing. So if I wanted to make 30. I would have had to hit three twice and then no one just a, just a little heads up because the sensitivity on the app is funny like that all right so then you say done boom now 
you want more options. Let's say I have five of these. That's when I will come down to more options. All right. And I will put them in right here. Boom. Five. All right. I wanted to accept no offers uh, lower than $20. See how when I put 20, it didn't come. But if I put two in, so just make sure you do it, uh, do two, two, then it'll pop up and then you do it. It's a little lag in the uh, response. eBay, fix that. <laughs> All right. So boom, $20. Bam. Now I got that on, right? Go back out. Go back out. Shipping. I prefer you to do uh, no less than first class shipping, but USPS if you can, because it comes with insurance. All right. But if, if the product is under $50 in cost, I would just say first class. All right. So you want to come in here. You put it all in. Like I said, self-explanatory. It tells you what it is. Boom, boom, boom. Come out. All right. Come on down. If you want to donate to charity, eBay gives you that option. You see these listings that's getting like two to three times what they're supposed to be getting. It's simple. It's because they're donating to charity. Help someone out and uh, you just it just comes back to you. So yeah, I'll leave that up to you whether you want to do that. And then what do you know? You see down here, you can even save it for later. You can list it, preview it, whatever. You can hook up your PayPal preference. You come in PayPal and uh, excuse me, guys, and you let them know your handle in time. Mine is one day. Now, th listen, how you get fast and free, which is a, which is a, a basically a badge on eBay and that helps you sell more. You have to have less than a, a day or two handling time i will say a day i believe it's the day i'm not quite quite sure on that but we have it and mine is a day so i would just stick to a day all right and uh last but not least you have to upload the shipping information within an hour or two of it being sold and then the lasting thing is you need to make sure that it's there by time the date that eBay gives the customer that is going to be there or they need to be receiving the package by that time. That's how you get the fast and free uh, badge. That was a little uh, bonus for watching this to the end. You've just watched how to sell on eBay 2019, the complete beginner's guide. All right. This was part one of three. Finally, the long awaited part one of three. I hope you watched part two and part uh, two or three and part three or three already. This one goes over the eBay uh, account setup and how to list. All right. If you want to know how to sell on eBay fast, OK, or how to make money on eBay, this series or this trio was all about eBay selling. OK, so this went from how to take a good uh, product uh, photos for eBay on the second installment to how to how to wrap package and ship in the third uh, installment and then in part one of three on how to sell on eBay 2019 the complete beginner guide you learn how to set up your eBay account and how to list your first item. All right, please hit that subscribe. Please hit that like. Leave the comments. We're on fire. We're trying to come up. Help us get to a thousand subscribers. We got the contest coming out real soon. We're going to pay for a family to go to Florida, a family of four. So stay tuned for that. And remember out there, follow, subscribe, and share. Peace. Please what, baby? What they need to do? Follow, follow subscribe, subscribe, and share. And share. Why not? <laughs> Peace. Peace.